All right, I'm on hole number 15 of the South Coast Tournament in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Let's go to hole number 15. All right. I'm taking a big topper with a kingmaker and coming out here, and I'm trying to get in my rapier range. And if there's this, and I'm starting to really like hole number one, but this hole right here is your absolute best chance of picking up a shot because you can get up here into your rapier range. And so this is is the this is a hole to really focus on and when you get to this hole you know stop take a deep breath and really try and focus because if you can get your drive shot over there with that big topper we got our rapier we got our hornet we're going to take a kingmaker if you can get your drive shot on that other side now even if you can't get your drive shot over there and you have to come at it from the top this is, you're still going to be in your short iron range and you still have an absolutely fantastic shot to pick, to pick one up. So this is a, this is definitely a hole. I think this hole and hole number one are the ones to really, really kind of mark on your, your cheat sheet and as ones that this is your, your opportunities to get up one. battle let's check out battle played a bunch of games just checking out how much money they want so you can kind of get an idea of they've been playing and they've played in the uh, they've moved it up into the higher tours Played at least tour eight and nine. Nice shot. Uh oh. Uh oh. That sucks. That was unlucky. So do we have enough distance out there? We do. Take out the wind. This club is super inaccurate. It's about a ring. Isn't it perfect? Just laying it up out there in the front. Mm, we're a little back from where I was before, so I might be in my minimum Hornet. So if I'm in my r rapier range, it's going to be at max club, and it's going to be 1.8 per ring. And I'm going to start it off a half a, from the flagpole to the left-hand edge. I'm going to take half of a, half a cup, quarter cup, however you want to look at it. And then if I'm in my short iron range, I'm going to be at maximum. Now I'd be at minimum short iron, so it's going to be 2.2 .2 per ring. What I don't want is to be in between clubs, and, and we're right there at in between clubs. Oh, crap. Oh, shit is right. Sorry about that. We all know what that means. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what can happen here. You can't be short. Okay, there's my rape here. Where's my... Oh, I'm right in between clubs. Okay. So it's 1.8 per ring. That leaves me nine. So it's about a ring and a half. Oh, 
No, I, I had to get that off because I was running out of time. That close. But I damn near ran out, of time, ran out of time there and really jacked myself up. Went from trying to get an eagle to ended up screwing myself over. So, whew, dodged a bullet on that one. The rapier actually has pretty good ball guide, but that hill is so steep. Where where we're coming in at it right there, it's doing the short the short hop, and the ball guide wasn't wasn't registering. And like like you saw from our opponent, you don't want to be short. Yeah, these, these greens have so much hill to them that the ball guide's kind of lying. And in real golf, I'll tell you why the ball guide's lying. Because in real golf, sometimes the groundskeeper will cut it so that, the, that when you hit the green, you're actually going against the rough. I mean, you're going against the grain. And so the ball will slow down faster than you think it will. Even though you're going downhill, it slows down all of a sudden because they cut the grain. And if you're coming from the other direction and you're hitting it, it'll go really fast. All right, that was hole number 15 of the South Coast Tournament in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.